I would like to show you how you can use Belladotti to understand your customer segments, who are your best customers, and their attributes. Let me jump into our data set and give you an overview of this data. We are using the data set of telco customers, but the same technique can be used for banking and finance customers, customers from other segments, stock item segmentation, and even for the segmentation of employees to understand employee turnover. Our data set includes various parameters, such as customer ID, the purchasing behavior, how many minutes the customer has called, how many text messages were sent by the customer, what was the volume of data used via mobile and via their home internet lines, and the revenue per customer ID. Our data set also includes demographic information, age, gender, and the purchasing channel. Now we will use the Belladotti clustering package to segment our customers in similar groups. We select Customer Segmentation function from the Belladotti library. We may decide how many segment clusters we will create and how many iterations will be calculated by a clustering algorithm. Let's create five different segments of customers with similar behavior. These functions must first perform normalization of customer data, as for example, volume of SMS is a much higher number than volume of calls. Customers are then clustered in five similar groups, which are then denormalized. We can have a look at box plot charts to see how our groups look alike. Let's see box plot for group four. We also use the term cluster for a group. We can see five different box plots for data used via home internet, time called, number of text messages, and volume of data used via mobile. However, these box plots are not really readable when absolute scale is used. Therefore, we look at box plots in relative scale to examine statistical distribution. We can see whiskers, first quartile, mean, median, third quartile, and also outliers for age category. We can have a look at score to understand how well the clustering model fits to our data set. Now let's look into the importance and behavior of each customer group. We have five segments. Segment one in orange color represents 7.1% of our customers. Segment two in red color represents 29% of our customers. Segment three represents 19.7% of our customers. Segment four represents 25.4% of our customers. And segment five represents 18.8% of our customers. Using Pareto analysis, we can see that in segment four, which is marked with blue color, are our most important customers as they generate 52% of our revenue. Customers from segment two, even though they represent 29% of our customers, generate only 4% of our revenue. We can further compare revenue from each segment in absolute values and see that customers from segment one generate 47 million, customers from segment two generate 24 million, and so on. But customers from segment four and segment five are our most important customers as they generate the major proportion of our revenue. Let's have a look at each segment's behavior and demographics. Our most important group number four sends the highest amount of text messages per customer and consumes the highest volume of mobile data per customer. In contradiction to group four, group two does not call long, sends minimal messages, and consumes minimal volume of data both mobile and via home internet. Group two is the oldest group in terms of the average age. We can use associated views and explore the total picture about each group. Let's click on segment one, the smallest group in terms of number of customers, but the third important in terms of revenue per customer. This group spends significant time on calls, is in mid-range in regards to SMS, and consumes significant amount of data, both mobile and home internet. Also, the average age of the group is 40 years. We should definitely target similar customers as new potential customers. All of the five groups have to be approached differently for marketing campaigns, 
cross-sells and upsells, and during the acquisition of new customers from similar groups. Let's use our filters for gender to understand if there is any behavior difference between male and female, and also to understand how contracts were sold to different groups. Using the gender filter does not show any significant difference. So let's examine how contracts were purchased by different groups, if via eShop, store, or telemarketing. Group 4, our most important group in blue, is the clear leader in eShop purchases. Group 2 in red, which is the oldest group, leads in telemarketing. So when targeting respective groups, communication channels should be adjusted to habits that are known from our existing customers. We can also use a heat map to display the average usage of different services by segments, so that we immediately see the amount of usage of different services by segments. The more intensive the color, the higher the usage of services. And as last in this demo, we will have a very brief look at customer churn for each group. Our segment 4, the group that generates to us the highest amount of revenue, has more than 50% churn. These are our customers in Jeopardy. We know from demographics that these are young people that have bought their contracts via eShop, and as such, they are not very loyal. Our analysis tells us to keep these customers, we have to set up the right promotion to this segment at the time when their contract is going to expire. These findings also advise us how to target new customers from this group. Segment 2 is the segment with the lowest customer churn. This is our red segment with the highest average age, which represents the most loyal customers. We can further use Belladotti Analytics to get a deeper understanding of customer churn cycle or identify predictors leading to churn of customers in each segment so that we can act on time to keep our customers and decrease customer churn as keeping customers is more cost effective than acquiring new customers. Further, we use Belladotti Maps to analyze geographical distribution of customers. We use a pie chart representation by segment and by location. On the left map, we see that in the London area, we have 28% of our customers, and in Cambridge, we have 6.7% of our customers. Using the pie chart on the map, we can see regional information for each of our five segments. Let's have a look at our blue, most important customers. In the London area, they represent 22% of all customers in the area. In Cambridge, 42% of all customers, and in Oxford, 32%. As Oxford and Cambridge areas are demographically comparable, such analysis can guide us to target new blue customers in Oxford. Further, we can explore our market share on the map in the middle. There we can see that we have more than 40% market share in Dover and Oxford, but not so high in other areas. Additionally, the composition of our customers in Dover is not as good as the majority of our customers there are red customers that have low spending per customer. Once we decide which area we are going to target for new sales, we can use the map on the right side to decide the right communication channel from the visual observation of the pie chart. Different colors on the pie chart correspond to different selling channels according to the legend below. If we click on a pie chart, we can immediately see the exact amount of each selling channel. For example, for London area, 37% of our existing customers were acquired via telemarketing. Based on this analysis, we can decide to aim our telemarketing effort or contract new selling locations. We should use the same procedure to get regional insights of our existing customers with the aim to decrease customer churn. We have clustered our customers in similar groups and analyzed specifics of each group with the purpose of maximizing our revenue. We used one of Belladotti's ready-made functions for segmentation and Belladotti's advanced out-of-the-box analytics and framework for further visualization and mapping. The source code for segmentation function is freely available to our partners and customers. If additional tailoring of Belladotti segmentation function to your situation is required, Belladotti flexible analytics and framework allows you to build and package your own functions on the go. More information is available in our documentation.
If you are interested to know more, please contact Belladotti or our partners. More resources to customer segmentation and churn are available as a demo on Belladotti Cloud or on Belladotti Partner Portal. Thank you for watching this Belladotti demo.